Okay, hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to generate a hyper-realistic 3D character using a tool called Chat Avatar. Now, before I get started, I want you guys to hit that subscribe button right now to stay updated on when I post the latest videos in the world of 3D and tech. Now, disclaimer, you can sign up and you get 10 free credits. But after the 10 free credits, you do have to sign up for their subscription model if you want more credits. But they also offer a 7-day free trial. So if you sign up for their 7-day free trial, you get 30 free credits for the month. So yeah, just be aware there's a 7-day free trial. But after that, they will charge you. So just be aware. But you can uh, do a lot with the 10 credits or the 30 credits with the 7-day free trial. So I'll show you how to use it. Uh, they have two tools on their website. The website is called hyperhuman.demos. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, they have two tools. One is called Chat Avatar, and the other is called Rodin. Rodin is uh, used to used to generate like any 3D asset you want, but Chat Avatar is to generate. Uh, Chat Avatar is used to generate the hyperrealistic humans. And as you can see, there are featured human models already on their website that you can already use, or you can make your own. Now I'm going to be making my own. You can either drag in a reference photo, uh, like the examples shown at the bottom, they, they got to be well lit, or you can use text to describe whatever model you want to generate. Now for this example, I'm going to type in Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, and let's see how good it is or how accurate it is uh, in generating a you know realistic model of Mark Zuckerberg. So uh, generate and then a window will pop up and you can describe your avatar even more or your 3D character even more and it'll add in the prompts here. Uh, it'll even give you suggestions like he has a round face with short brown hair and often uh, and often wears glasses. He has youthful appearance, but uh, we're just going to use this simple prompt right here and we're going to use this model, the dream face version two model. Now they also have a hero model, which has a different art style, a uh, tune style, which is more like, you know, anime or cartoon style and yeah uh you don't want to touch this one this is the version two but for the most realistic results you want to use dream face version two so let's use that and uh, everything is looking good so we'll hit uh, generate and then we're just going to wait for it so as it's generating the model i want you guys to keep in mind that, that you still don't lose any credits up till this point so don't worry about that you can still see how the model looks like and you'll still have all your credits uh saved uh you haven't used any credits right now so yeah and look at that that is pretty accurate to mark zuckerberg's face like that is really good and you know you can see the detail the skin pore detail well this is like not the high quality preview that's showing a it's, it's showing you a low quality preview but once you download it and import it into your and in your into your software it looks way better than this but yeah this looks amazing so far so once you're happy with the result you could go ahead and uh, go up here and start selecting these different export options so for the most realistic results i recommend going 4k depending on how many credits you have like i said if you have the free trial you get 30 credits so yeah uh, this is going to cost eight credits for 4k next and we'll choose default that costs zero credits next and we're gonna have the body rigged uh, it is a male uh, we want eyes and teeth we want expression blend shapes and we want black head texture so in total that costs about 12 credits so yeah once uh, you've selected all the options once you hit pay that's when the credits are deducted from your account so we'll hit pay now it's gonna be packing your model so you can just uh, click on mine right here and it'll show you all the models as you can see i've already generated quite a few models beforehand but right now it's going to be packing your model here so just wait a bit uh and it'll be done but while it's packing the model we can go down here and if you have blender or if you plan on importing this model into blender you want the blender plugin so click on blender right here and you're going to download the chat avatar import tool for blender so yeah it's it's free um you want to download the latest version which is this one right here yeah and then you can just download it and then once it's downloaded you want to go to your blender let's start a new let's start a new uh, project here you want to go to edit preferences and then search for the chat avatar or you got to install it first so go on 
install and then wherever you saved it and chats avatar so right there and then you want to click install add-on and then i've already installed it so i don't need to do this and then once it, it once it's installed you want to go here and then import and then make sure that's checked and then save preferences uh we don't need everything so we can just delete everything here uh let's see if it's done okay it looks like it's finished let's see the model here well, we already know what it looks like, but let's download it. So to download it, you can click on it and then you can just click right here. Uh, hold on, loading. Okay, I don't even think you have to do this. You can just click on download right here. This folder, nope, okay, never mind. Yeah, click on that folder and then click download. Okay, boom, it's downloaded. Uh, let's go to Blender and let's go to file, import. And like I said, if you have the chat avatar add-on enabled you'll see this chat avatar package option here click that and then this window will pop up hit import and then wherever you download it your model uh, let me find my model right here uh, don't unzip the folder just leave it uh, zipped and then click open and there's mark zuckerberg uh you want to hit 4k because i chose 4k default rigged body eyes teeth back and everything here and then confirm uh, it's going to switch to cycles here. So hit yes. And there we go. You can close out of this window and there is the model ready to use. Let's go to uh, switch this to GPU uh, for faster real time render. We'll hide the rig and we'll go to rendered view. We're going to need a light here actually Let's do a point light. forward there we go uh. okay there it is okay the eyes are gonna be a bit weird I can fix that click on the model uh, go to this material options and then go to I believe eyes and if you go to uh, transparent shadows no not transparent. Oh, no, you got to choose occlusion, I think. Yeah, occlusion and then transparent shadows. There we go. And they're fixed. Look at that. Mark Zuckerberg. And if you go, if you uh, zoom in, the details are like really good. If you got the 4K model, like the close up, the pores and everything, this is like very, very realistic results. Uh, the only thing I wish they added was like some hair options. If they added air options, which I think they they will be doing, I'm not sure. But uh, if they do do that, then you know this is gonna be like a game changer for sure. But yeah, super realistic results. Uh, it's already rigged. But if you want like custom animations, uh, there's two ways to do it. You can uh, export this as an FBX, export it as an FBX, and uh, then you can import it into you know Mixamo and get some custom animations from there. Or you can use another tool called Accurig. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to like get some custom animations for this and how to do like facial animations on this 3D character, let me know in the comments and I'll post a tutorial on that as well. But other than that, that ends the tutorial here. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like I said, again, to stay updated on when I post the latest videos on 3D animation, 3D, and just tech in general. I'll see y'all later.